Hey guys, welcome back. So Connor and I actually spent most of the day at a monster truck show uh, over in the, the Cheshire Fairgrounds. It was a really good time, good event. and uh, he wants to go work on the trails. So we're gonna load up some stuff in the KM and uh, head down to the section we were working on last time, get that done. Uh, Friday was a wicked nice day. I didn't have the camera around with me cause I was kind of jumping around a lot. Uh, the Forester was back. So I was bringing him up the mountain, uh, kind of running around up there with him looking at some stuff and then down here working a little bit and then I would run back up. So. I didn't film. I should have, I know, but I didn't. So what we did do though is we basically, we moved the trailer and the wood splitter and that whole wood pile of cherry here. Got the, the trailer packed in over there kind of. Got the wood stacked where it should be. Got the splitter over there. And uh, we basically used the tractor to kind of rake up all of this area. Just uh, raked all of the, you know, the rocks and stuff. Still needs a little cleanup. But we were raked it up. Hey, Connor, say hi to the camera. Hi. So we, we raked all this up, this section over here. Um, we pulled a big stump out of here early this year. So we raked that and seeded it. Got that all set. And basically this area, I think we're going to kind of work here, you know, from the side of the barn and over towards this other barn. I think we're going to bring some stone in and make a, more of a permanent, like, parking area for the tractor and an area to split wood. Uh... That way when it does rain and get muddy, it doesn't turn the wood lot into just a soupy mess. So these are the wood piles we got currently, guys. As you can see, we got a nice, you know, it's actually almost a double pile of oak here. And then this is all actual cherry right here. Um, this is split up a little bit smaller because um, a lot of this is, or not a lot, but some of it's going to go to a, a friend of mine with a smoker. And I'm thinking of, of venturing into the bundle wood market. Uh, a lot of people around here do bundle wood. And uh, so we've been kind of thinking maybe we might get into that. But uh, that's why we, we've been splitting stuff a lot smaller, especially uh, cherry. And we'll do the same with hickory because uh, we do have a lot of shagbark hickory on our property as well. That will also be split smaller and kind of geared more toward people with smokers. So uh, I think we're going to load up the KM and uh, we're going to head out and start doing some brush cutting. So stay tuned and off we go.
right guys, we're out here working on the trail and I'd seen this before and I, I thought I would just kind of do like a public service announcement. Hunters, clean up your trash. I mean, seriously, I'm an avid hunter myself and I would never do this. Somebody left a tree stand that appears to be broken, just left it here. Not sure how old it is. Still, the fabric's in decent shape, but you can obviously see it looks like it's kind of jacked up a little bit. Well, maybe it's not, but I don't know why people would just leave this stuff out here. Drives me nuts. Anyway, my little public service announcement. You know, if you're hunting in somebody's woods, clean up after yourself. guys we've gotten quite a bit of ways down the trail but uh unfortunately the battery's dying so it's about time to end the video but uh here's another cool thing we find here all over new hampshire beautiful stone wall literally in the middle of the woods i mean gorgeous been here for 100 200 years probably but you know we find these all the time all over the property different places so at some point a lot of this land was under tillage, under plow. You know, whether it was for uh, sheep or cows or what have you. So just thought I'd show you that little kind of cool tidbit. And uh, if you like this video, subscribe, like, leave us a comment, and we will see you in the next one. Hey.